Nearly 55 years after Neil Armstrong took one small step for man, a private U.S. company has taken one giant leap for mankind's future of space exploration. CBS's Mark Strassman reports on today's historic moon landing. Tonight, the odyssey of Odysseus has ended on the moon, the first American-made spacecraft kicking up lunar dust in more than a half century. As our equipment is on the surface of the moon. And Jubilant. Mission control of intuitive machines in Houston. The first commercial moon landing ever. The final descent from 18 miles above the lunar surface, a continuous engine burn for 10 minutes. By touchdown, Odysseus had slowed to two miles per hour. This is the assembly room. Intuitive co-founder Steve Altima showed us the historic Moonlander up close last year in Houston. His company envisions a $100 billion lunar market. We're delivering scientific payloads, engineering demonstration payloads, but not the humans themselves. And you believe the moon is the next economic frontier? The moon is certainly that next step for space exploration. Odysseus landed near the lunar south pole, carrying less than 300 pounds of cargo including six instruments for NASA, an intuitive customer. The space agency hopes to have astronauts moonwalking there by the end of the decade. Some craters there never see light, so cold they may contain ice, and water is critical to long-term space exploration. NASA plans to basically hire these companies to send payloads to the moon like, like you'd call an Uber or a Lyft. But these companies have to make it work first, and that's what we're seeing today. Not since the end of the Apollo era has an American lander parked itself on the surface of the moon. This mission will last roughly a week until lunar night freezes the solar batteries. Quite an achievement, Nora. Yeah, really, really exciting. Mark Strassman, thank you so much.